Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster. This tutorial is on Finder and Mac OS keyboard shortcuts that uh, every video editor should know. This isn't a comprehensive list of every single keyboard shortcut out there. This is just some kind of bare bones um, shortcuts that uh, if you're an editor, you probably should know these things. So just gonna breeze through uh, some of these. I have a list um, written out on my website, editvideofaster.com. I'll link the blog post uh, in the description below, but let's jump right into it. Uh, the first keyboard shortcut is how to switch between open app applications. So if you have Photoshop open and After Effects open and you're, you know, you want to switch between them real quick, um, you want to hold down the command key and then hit the tab key. And then when you do that, you can switch between your different open applications. Uh, I'm just going to open up iTunes because um, that's uh, what I'm working with you right now. Uh, to hide an application, uh, that's going to be uh, holding down command and hit the H key that's going to hide your application just going to command tab to bring that back up uh, and if I want to minimize an application I'm going to hold down the command key and hit the M key and that's going to minimize it uh, next is uh, copying and pasting and uh, you know you should know these if you are an editor of any sort so hold down the command key hit the C to copy the file and then uh, hold down command and hit the V key to paste the file and you can do that, you know, pasting it into a different finder window or, you know, something like that. Uh, next is duplicate. So instead of holding down, uh, hitting command C and then hitting command V, if I want to just uh, make a copy of that file in the same folder, uh, I want to duplicate it. So hold down the, select the file, hold down the command key and hit the D key. And that's going to duplicate the file. Uh, if I want to get some information on the file, um, you know, like for this this PNG, if I want to find out um, the dimensions of it, hold down the command key and hit the I key, and that's going to bring up uh, the um, information about that selected layer. All right, if uh, there's anything I want to undo, um, so let's duplicate this file again. If I want to undo that, uh, hold down command and hit the Z key and that undoes whatever you just did. One of those that you probably should know. Um, to select all the layers uh, in this folder here, hold down the command key and hit the A key and that's going to select all of the files in the folder that you have open. Uh, if I want to select multiple files, uh, I have this file selected here. Hold down the shift key and then use the up arrow to select more going up or the down arrow to select more going down. Uh, if I want to select, uh, you know, random files in this folder, have one selected, then hold down the command key and then you can select or unselect uh, various files as needed. Uh, if I want to open a file up, uh, select it and hold down command, hit the O key and that's going to open the file up. Um, if I want to quit out of an application, uh, hold down the command key, hit the Q key and that's going to quit out of that program. Uh, if I want to delete a file, let's rewind and let's just duplicate this file real quick. You saw me doing this uh, a minute ago. If I want to delete a file, send it to my trash can. I actually use this shortcut all the time. Hold down the command key and hit the delete key. And that takes that file, sends it to your trash can. Uh, super useful, something I use all the time. Uh, if I want to make a new finder window, so I have a finder window up here, I want to make a new one, uh, hold down command, hit the N key, that's going to bring up a new finder window. If I want to close out of a finder window, hold down command, hit the W key, that's going to close out of that window. If I want to make a new tab, hold down command, hit the T key, that's going to make a new tab here in my finder window. Just exit out X out of that. If I want to make a <laughs> if I want to make a new uh, folder in my Finder window, hold down Command, hit the Shift and the N key. That's going to make a new folder. Then I can label it. And if I want to delete it, remember hold down Command, hit the Delete key. Uh, if I want to open up my Finder, uh, sorry, if I want to open up my the desktop in Finder, uh, hold down Shift Command and hit D and that brings our Finder window to uh, our desktop. Uh, and I think lastly, oh no, a couple more. Uh, if I want to change views um, from what I have here, let me just go back to where I was. Uh, and by the way, I just went back uh, by holding Command in the left bracket and Command in the right 
bracket that brings you forward and backwards uh, in where you were in Finder. Uh, if I want to change the view uh, of my Finder window, hold down the command key and if I hit one, that's going to turn it into icons. If I hit two, it's going to turn it into list view, three, turn it into columns, and fourth, turn it into the gallery. Uh, I prefer the list view uh, for pretty much everything, so uh, command two to bring up uh, that list view again. Uh, if I want to show or hide the finder path, this uh, thing down here, I'll hold down, op <clears throat> hold down Option, Command, and hit the P key, and that's going to turn that on or off. I always leave it on. Once again, Command, Option, and P. The status bar here down at the bottom, if I want to show or hide that, hold down Command, and hit the forward slash key. Two more. If you need to force quit out of an application, hold down the Option key, and then when you right-click on an icon, you can force quit without holding down the option key you can just quit uh, so for some reason um, you know you're in after effects and it freezes up and it won't let you force quit out of there or won't let you quit out of there uh, hold down the option key right click on the icon and then you can force quit the application close uh, and the last keyboard shortcut to show and hide the dock hold down command hold down option and then hit the D key that's going to hide the dock or show the dock uh, useful for you know if you need to go full screen for something so that is it um, I need to go drink some water as you should do as well hopefully you found this list helpful uh, if you did please give this uh, video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this one even though I don't typically do these you know kind of Mac ones I usually stick you know inside the software itself or talk you know uh, just about video editing topics but uh Maybe, you know, I do more like this one in the future. Anyway, uh, leave a comment if you have one. If you have other keyboard shortcuts that you'd like to use, uh, leave those below. Share those. Uh, it definitely helps the community out to know these things. I certainly don't know all of them. So if I can learn some more, awesome. Please teach me something new. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Go drink some water. I'll see you around in the next video. Bye.